Here's the recommended process for doing your screen recording. First step, find the images that you want to use for your screen recording and select them. And uh, I recommend opening them up in uh, preview mode. And you can do it something like this. Let's see, I don't want that one. And I, but just by double clicking on the images, I get to put them in preview mode, which will then also allow me to put them in uh, slideshow mode. So I want to start with this image. And so I plan out my argument and my presentation of visual evidence. So that's good. Let's do that and see if I can. Um, I will start and finish with the same image. So then when I'm ready, I go to uh, slideshow mode, which goes view. Slideshow. And so here I am in slideshow mode. Now I go over to QuickTime Player. And I say, let's do a new screen recording. I click on that and start my recording. Uh, I'm already recording, so two windows will come up that will allow you to say, yes, I really do want to start recording. And so you take your script and you read it. The capacity of design to move a human society from fear to hope lies not only in the quality of the design itself, but in the setting that it is placed. The quality of the design is very important, and indeed, we spend most of our time in architecture school focused on the quality of the architectural design. But the setting of the architecture can have as much or more of an impact on the ultimate outcome than the design itself. In this case, the wall at the center of this image indicates a very negative situation where there is a surrender to fear over hope. A much more positive instance of a similar situation of high quality architecture set in the midst of slums uh, shows a completely different edge condition uh, where this space is actually owned by the residents who surround it. And this completely turns on its head the uh, impact of the final solution. So comparing these two situations, uh, both show high quality design in the midst of uh, misery, but the impacts uh, couldn't be more opposite. And so it's important to understand that it is not just the quality of the design, it is also the quality of the setting that, into which that design is injected. And so I mark the beginning and ending. I uh, navigate over here uh, to QuickTime where you have the option of stopping the recording. Clicking on that allows you to then uh, move into QuickTime Player. You can open your recording, the editor mode of QuickTime, uh, by going to Edit Trim. Now, this is a very simple editing tool that allows you to select a portion of your recording and eliminate the other parts. And so um, this is a four minute recording and I'm going to break it up into smaller pieces. You can select uh, the different portions. And so selecting that, you can then say trim and you get a small section of, of what you recorded. And so by stringing several of these sections together, you can create your final 60-second uh, maximum version of your screen recording. Another possibility is to open up uh, your iMovie editor. And you go, you find the, um, you find your recording. And I import my recording. And 
To edit your project in iMovie, you can open it and select a, a passage. Let's say um, you think you can you can listen the to quality it like of an architect. And when you select an area, you can uh, delete, push delete, and it will take that part out. Um, and so it's a little bit handier than than. Quick time is. Another software for editing video is available for a free download from Camtasia. Uh, it actually is a much more convenient piece of software for use, which I recommend highly.